viewers and subscribers welcome welcome back to another video you know it's about sae big up on yourself and um thank you all for tuning in to another um video here today we're gonna zoom in and former west indies fast bowler ian bishop basically saying that he's not pleased with the way the west indies is performing so far in the t20 world cup he's saying that the west indies need to be performing better I understand people after the West Indies beat um both Papua New Guinea and Uganda. He's saying that he really ain't pleased with it. And um he touched a little bit on the upcoming um T twenty match tomorrow between the West Indies and the New Zealand team where he talks what he expects of them. But you know people we're gonna share a little article with you guys. I understand so the article matter of fact before we get into the article right people please go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn on the post notification bell to be the first alerted whenever a new video is uploaded and don't forget we are on our way to twenty thousand subscribers so i know i haven't been active that much lately but you understand people um there's a lot of stuff going on but um we're just gonna get this article out of the way guys and give you a little update on what um um he's saying and what he's expecting at the west indies and remember i want you guys to leave your thoughts in the comment section as well i understand so the article went like this people yeah bishop wants more from west indies despite winning start to t20 world cup right the article went like this people former west indies fast bowler and current cricket commentator jan bishop says the regional side still have some things to improve and despite winning their opening two matches of the icc men's t20 world cup he went as far as saying the windies survive a potential upset in their first match against papua new guinea winning by five wickets with an over to spear right however they put in a more commanding performance against uganda last saturday at providence stadium in Guyana with a 134 run win after bowling out their opponents for a mere 39. We already witnessed that a couple nights ago, people. You know, though impressed with the team's um, approach to the match, Bishop believes scoring is an issue that needs addressing. The yeah, understand people say scoring, meaning you need West Indies to be scoring more fluently in the middle over. Because we, if you watch the match properly, guys, it, at one point they slow. But you yeah, understand it's so gameplay. But um, Bishop is saying too much that ball is being sucking up. You yeah, understand they need to release those pressure. Let's continue. I saw uh, a West Indies team that turned up to their business. You know, which is the first compliment. I'll pay them. They could have come in and be um like a call, but that didn't happen there was a lot more intent in the stroke play positivity and then andrea russell's final kick towards the end of the innings it is what we have seen from him particularly over the last two months after ipl said bishop he continued remember guys hit that subscribe button if you're new let's continue there is still room for improvement, even though on a tricky pitch there was still 53 dot balls, which was one less than the game against Papua New Guinea. So when the boundary ball isn't there, there is still room for manipulate um, the ball into gaps and supplement, it, and supplement um, your scoring, but they should find it more friendly when they get to a better batting surface he said do you believe people um stick up in your, the west indies will play in um trinidad tomorrow right people and i, I never really zoom in on the trinidad pitch that much any trinidad there are any people who know the trinidad pitch what type of pitch is there in toroba is it a batting paradise or is the bowling paradise or does it offer um purchase for both spin and 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 both the bowlers and the batting leave it down below Let's continue. Bishop was impressed by the performance of Akil Hussein, who took 5 for 11, his best bowling performance and the second best bowling figure in West Indies T20 history. 
we know people that um obed makai have the six for 17 and then who stay in the five for 11 and then five for four for 16 from um um samuel badger you know akio was very good it was a pitch that had its fear sheer of challenges in terms of its low bounce if you if you have um never faced him before it's along it's along similar veins that you see with someone like wazim from for pakistan with the new ball that arm ball that swings back in and then akil has the option of really importing um a lot of spin on the ball even in the new ball and getting it to turn away from the right handers so i thought all in all uh, his length was good and his line was complimentary and it was great for him because so far in 2024 he hasn't um been having his best year so it was a real moral booster for him he said and i have to agree people aki hussein wasn't really having a, a, a good outing so far and it's good that he get a good performance and he's built and then we we'll expect him to really um build on this performance in, and help the west indies out in this year's t20 world cup you know because we have been basically failing the last couple world cups and now we are seeing good performances and we hope that we we'll continue the last six matches west indies one so want them to win straight to the world cup final and win it you understand and that's what we as the Caribbean fans want to bring back the joy in the Caribbean, bring back a lot of young people to start participate in the cricket in the Caribbean because as we know people, a lot of people ain't really fun of cricket that much as back in the days where a lot of people want to watch cricket is not there anymore. We need to start winning and bring back the love. You understand? Let's continue. However, he says Akil or Hussein and the rest of the bowlers may not see the same type of success when they take on New Zealand on Wednesday. He said, it will be an interesting game because you're talking about Taruba in South Africa, which should be a surface that is all the more amenable um, to batsmanship. So I asked early on if anybody knew about the Taruba pitch. Now we are hearing from Ian Bishop, it's a batting paradise. You know, though it is not what I would call one of the highest scoring surface in, surface in the Caribbean, but the pitch in Guyana, I have to admit, I am a little bit disappointed in the way that it's played. Very slow, gripping and hard to play shots on. So Trinidad should be better for batters. Some one like Akil and the rest of the bowling group are going to have a lift the going to have to lift their game in the if their game a little bit more. You know what I said, Bishop so He's saying that the bowling have to go step up people because it's a batting paradise which they're going to play on. Following the Uganda um, match, West Indies captain Jamaican Rodman Powell said the team was operating between 70 to 80 percent. Though appreciating his honesty, um, Bishop says they will need to be at 100 percent in the upcoming games and we agree with that. You know you need to score off more balls. Imagine when you go up against better teams, Afghanistan and New Zealand, you will need all those resources. So I like that from Powell. He, he's been very realistic and you know, leaving room for his batters to improve. And they need to do that if they have to challenge for a final four spot. And even beyond that, I am okay with the 6 eating but. What I want to see is more done with the deliveries in between the boundaries. So you're saying that we need a stroke player in the team. That's what Bishop is saying. We need a stroke player. Who are we going to bring in? Are we going to bring in a Shea Hope? Um, who else is there? Rathan Chase, you know, the half of the spin, so they're going to keep him. So we need a stroke player in the middle to mitigate um, those dark balls. You understand? And find the boundaries. You know, but Wednesday's match against New Zealand bowls off at 7.30 p.m. Jamaica time at the Brian Lara Cricket Academy. The West Indies currently second in the group of four points with Afghanistan leading a net run rate, while New Zealand sit bottom with no points, although they have only played one match. So, um, that was basically what um, Ian Bishop is saying, people. But, um, what did you gather from what I just quote to you guys? Do you believe that the West Indies 
um, need to up their tempo because I believe so. Um, the ball you need to come better against New Zealand. You understand because New Zealand will be coming in with a uh, hunger because look at it, they lost the first match um, against Afghanistan, so they have to win this match. West Indies and the other, and if they win this match, they go straight through. To the next round you understand people so it's going to be tricky you understand but leave your thoughts down below as usual i understand because it's going to be tricky big up on yourself and thank you all for tuning in hit that subscribe button later more